trippinabee.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. This video that I'm creating is somehow a help to those who would say that Skype for Windows 8 is not that good because for now it's not actually supporting file transfers. Uh, I'm thinking so that you wouldn't mind uninstalling Skype anymore since you can run three uh, Skypes or Skype accounts or three Skype applications on a single computer on a Windows 8 computer so how would you do that uh, first I'm assuming or if you might haven't downloaded Skype yet for Windows 8 what you do is you go to the App Store we're going to download here go to the store we're going to download Skype itself the Skype app for Windows 8 uh, if you are not on this part you could also get that through let's go back to a desktop you can get that from uh, skype.com right here you have something that says Skype for Windows 8 it's also gonna ask you to download that from uh, store itself and here let's look up for that you got Skype here for social and if you can't see Skype in there you can also do a uh, search for that type in is k skype there you go and just click on search for the store right here click on search and it should bring up skype click on that and it's going to give you uh one second the <laughs> the band is a little slow it's going to say free you own this app it's already downloaded it's already on the computer if you uh, are still going to install that it's not on your PC yet it would say here uh, install something like that so again think so that Skype is already installed if not you could go ahead and install that so think that that is going to be your first Skype account or first Skype app for your Windows 8 PC and go back to your desktop and secondarily you're going to install a secondary Skype if you can see here uh, this is my secondary Skype it's not in there yet it should be not in there why because uh, you're still going to download that what you do for the secondary uh, I just went ahead and download everything just for the sake of uh, speeding up the tutorial so go to skype.com again you have your first Skype which is Skype app for Windows 8 and we're gonna get a secondary Skype go to skype.com right there select your language and get Skype there you go hover on that you don't click on Windows 8 Skype but you click on Windows desktop okay if you click on that it's going to ask you to either sign in or uh, download or something you could join Skype if you're not uh, if you don't have a Skype account yet in order to test that this is working I created uh, three dummy Skype accounts on your part if you already have three Skype accounts that you want to use then it would also work so you can download Skype right here if you click on that it's gonna give you an exe file that you can save on your computer you can run on your PC too I already did that and here uh, is the exe file itself it's going to ask me to do that again you could do save but that's cancel for now because I already have that on the PC so what you do is you run this okay double click on that run that it's going to install after you are done installing that it's going to give you this Okay, an icon right there. Again, after you install, it's going to give you an icon right here. It's just a normal installation like um, the Skype that you have back on Windows 7 or Windows XP or Windows Vista or whatever Windows that you had before. For desktop, it's going to be the same. Just running an MSI or an EXE file. So from there, you got this. Right. So what you do is if you don't know how to create a dual Skype yet before for Windows 8 you're gonna be making use of this code or a line right here 
Uh, I'm going to be posting that on the description below. You can check out www.newtoboss.com for the link. You can get that in there. And copy this. It would say in there C program files x86. Uh, I'm using 64 bits, so it's going to install in the 32 bit part division of the Windows. It's going to say secondary. You copy everything as is, okay? Don't remove the spaces, don't space out. Just click that, I mean, copy that exactly as it is. Okay, so what you do, you target this shortcut right here. So you right click over that, and you select on properties. Then you find something that says target. Let me bring this down a little bit. This is one of the problems that uh, people are getting in trying to install dual Skype on the recent Skype that's coming out. They would say that they can't target that anymore because uh, it doesn't it doesn't give out a blank page that you can edit. It's just grayed out like that. Um, don't be surprised at times because this is the the uh, I could say the default shortcut uh, of Skype upon installing. So what you do, you uh, remember it's grayed out, okay? So you close that and you could like maybe. No, let's just think that this is Skype 2, okay? So you got first Skype, which is your uh, Skype right here, your Skype app. And you got your secondary Skype, which is your uh, just recently installed Skype. All right, so you're going to uh, gonna, gonna be making, I mean, a third Skype this time. So how you do that, you go to your directory, your Windows directory. Go to C drive and look up for program files x86 and go up look for something that says Skype right here and you got phone you got updater click on phones you got skype.exe so what you do you right click over that you find something that says send to and send that to your desktop as a shortcut take a look at that let me sorry let me do that again so you can see it uh, clearly, take a look on the left side. Right click over that and uh, find something that says send to and click on uh, sorry, not Skype but <laughs> desktop. And there you go, you got something that says Skype exe shortcut. You can close this now again. Uh, let me open my copy right here for the link. Copy this right exactly, it's on the description below. And right click over the secondary Skype or the exe shortcut. Then let me bring that on top so you can see. Uh, click on properties and take a look at this time. You got a blank part for the target. Let's go back to the first one. Right click, click on properties, and remember, I mean, remember earlier this is grayed out, right? So it's still grayed out, Skype 6.1, but the, the recently created shortcut, you now have a target. Uh, field blank for that, right? So what you do is you just completely change this, erase everything, delete, then play, uh, paste the code that you got from the description below, right here. Again, see program files x86, secondary Skype. Be sure, delete again, and paste that. And don't change anything else. Just click on apply, click on OK. All right, so you can. Uh, remember, you could name this, let's name this, Skype 2. Remember the first Skype was the app itself. That's the Skype right here, okay? Now you got Skype 2, the desktop installed Skype. Then the shortcut rooted Skype, you can name that Skype 3. There you go, so you got three Skypes now. So then you can use three Skype accounts on your computer. So we can test that. I created some accounts right here, as I mentioned earlier. We're going to first log in on uh, the Skype app. In order for you to use the Windows Skype, I mean Windows Skype app, Windows 8 Skype app, I mean, you have to create your Microsoft account. You have to link that together with your Skype account. So I did created one two right here. Uh, this is not my account. It's just again a test account. So what you do you go back to that then right here click on that Skype It's going to ask you to add your Microsoft account 
So what you do, well, let's go back a little bit because I didn't cop. I have to copy right here. Skype one test account at live.com. So let's go back here. Let's just find that in there. And password was. Let's try that and click on save. It's going to try log you in. And the first time I created my account for this, it would ask you to add your uh, Skype account. You're going to integrate your Skype account to your Microsoft account. So while it's doing its thing, oh, it did. Uh, let me go back right here and look for the first Skype account that we are going to need here. This is a Skype account I created. Okay, Skype one. Remember that. So go back to that. Let's say already using Skype, new to Skype. It's up to you. You could create a new account or sign in using your existing account. I have a Skype account. Click on that. And it should let you provide your details. Log in and key in the password. Click on sign in and should let you log in. Again, this is your first Skype account via the application. Okay, it's going to ask you to merge those Skype account and I mean the the account itself to your Microsoft account. Yes, you want to do that. Continue. And because if you don't, um, if I remember it correctly, it's going to reject that back to the start page. Uh, I just can't remember it how I first logged in. Okay, so there you go. We got a contact, <laughs> the basic contact. I haven't added anybody yet. Again, we're gonna test that using these three Skype accounts. So this is you, okay? Pancit Canton. I renamed that earlier. This is my favorite noodle here in the Philippines. So just it's lucky me Pancit Canton. So just don't mind that. Just the name. Okay, so you got your active first Skype account. What you want to do is to uh, log into your secondary Skype account. Right here is your secondary. Uh, double click on that, and it's going to ask you to log in. There you go. I tested that earlier. See if it every uh, if everything would work okay. There you go. You got Skype two, and uh, let's try to key in the password. Click on sign in. All right, take a look at that. See if it's going to give us any error for the Skype. Uh, there you go. So you got your secondary account. Let's go to profile, and we're going to name this. Um, let's just say Skype Two. Okay. Let's just rename that so we can have a better look at everything. There you go. You got Skype Two. Let's go back right here. Uh, by the way, on Windows 8, you know how you do shortcuts. It's very much easy on Windows 8. You go back to the left side right there. So you got uh, first account, Pancet Canton, and you got secondary account active, Skype 2. So let's test that. Copy this. Oh, sorry. Copy the account right here. We're going to add them together so they can chat. So what you do is you go to, oh, sorry. You go to right here, right click, add contact, and for Skype, just click on there. You go, Skype 2 says ph, click on that. That's how you add a contact, by the way. Click on add contact. Uh, hello, yes, I want to add you. Then Let's go back a little bit right there, see if it's uh, going to notify us about something. Add contacts right here. Oh, it's not coming in yet, but we would want to add that back to the account was uh, contact add contact. Oh, there you go. It's coming in. It's just a little late though, right here. So you click on that. Would say, uh, Pancit Canton would like to add you for the account I mean as a contact okay so you, let's have that in there it says it's offline but it's actually online let's check if the status is 
Oh, there we go. We're going to send a message. Okay, so they're connected now. Your Skype 1, Skype 2 is connected. So we're going to say, hello. How are you? No oh, flaring. <laughs> Test. Let's make it lower caps. Okay, hello. How are you? Test. Let's go back right here. And sorry about my bandwidth is uh, really slow, so um, don't think that it's how it's going to work, but it's it's just really slow from a bandwidth because I'm, take a look here, uploading a video. That's the reason why it's a little dragged. Okay, so you got that, and we're going to send him a message too. Test message. Okay, let's see if it's going to work a little bit. Uh, where is that? First is here. Okay. Hello, how are you? Test. And let's run another um, account. Now for the third Skype, uh, we're gonna try and call. Let's see if it's gonna if it's gonna work for. Uh, voice calls. There you go. See that? It says incoming call. Sorry that the bandwidth is a little slow. It it wouldn't really work okay on text messages or chats. But there you go. It says incoming call. If I'm gonna accept this, my voice is just gonna reverberate. There you go. See that? <laughs> I'm calling myself. Hello, Hello to myself. 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 Can you hear me? Hello, Hello. Noodle. Are you, are you there? there? Are you there? there? What, what are, you are you trying, trying to, to repeat, repeat what, what I'm saying? saying? Okay, okay, so, so it's, it's actually, actually working. working. Let's okay. cut that in there. We're trying to be. <laughs> okay, so uh, you got one and two working. Now, this time, we're going to log in on a third account. Okay, let's get this detail right here double click on that and it's gonna ask you to input something else now this time we're gonna use three yeah this is the third account already so let's click on sign in right there you got first oh sorry let, let's just sign in on this third account first so you can see that it would really work so we we've got no errors right there and just close that so you got test account let's change the name of this you say Skype 3 let's click on enter alright so Skype 3 um, doesn't have friends yet so we're gonna add Skype 1 and Skype 2 alright so let's add Skype 1 add contact oh no 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 just here and just click on enter. Just gonna say pancit canton, click on add contacts, just click on send and add a secondary which is uh, Skype 2. Click on enter, Skype 2, add a contacts, just click on send and um, let me check back on where's that. No, no, no. Let's go back. Something sounded up here. So we're going to add that to. This is uh, Skype 2. There you go. So you got Skype 3 added. So she, I mean, he's got two friends now. So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to call uh, Skype 2. I mean, we're going to make a call between Skype 2 and Skype 3. All right. So let's click on Skype 3. And it would say Skype 2 is calling. Remember, I'm trying to call from Skype 2. I'm trying to call Skype. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Skype 2 is trying to call Skype 3. There you go. Take a look at the animation on Skype 3. So let's click on Answer. answer. And, and I'm hearing myself, myself again. again. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, Just close that. I mean, end the call. So we're going to try and call, oop, 
my battery is low. We're gonna try and call. Um, let's try Pancit Canton. Let's do a Skype call. It's it's not coming in yet for the invite, so we're gonna try and. I guess you just have to add that Skype three. There you go. Incoming call. It would say. Uh, Test account Skype 3 is actually trying to call you and ask you to add two contacts. Let's click on send and let's try to. Yeah, it's a little delayed though. And there you go, Skype 3 is actually calling the first Skype account that we have. Right, so there you go, let's just stop it right there. Okay, so. Um, there you go. That's that's basically how you set up three Skype accounts or use three Skype accounts on a Windows 8 computer. Um, probably you would say Skype accounts of three would be too much, but the purpose of creating the video is actually there are a lot of people who are uh, a little bit hating Skype app for Windows 8 because it's not doing a lot of things that a desktop Skype can do. But if you're going to uninstall that from your uh, PC, you're somehow going to be limited a little bit with some other transfers and some other applications that's connected to Skype, your Microsoft account, and also your uh, Facebook account sometimes if you want to link that in there. So, giving out, I mean, creating three Skype accounts would always work. If you are not going to use the first one, you could always use two of those. F again, for some of the video tutorials that might help you, you could always check out www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. Thanks for watching.